Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wassalatu wassalamu ala Rasulillah wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ramadan Mubarak. Kullu am wa antum bi khair. We would like to congratulate everyone on the entry of this blessed month of Ramadan. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to enable our success, give us the tawfiq, and also to facilitate our affairs, to give us taysir in worshiping him and coming closer to him and performing acts of not only worship, but acts of obedience that are pleasing to him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. With the, the entry of Ramadan, of course, we're all fasting and in a state of worship and hopefully reflecting on the reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has legislated the fast for us to increase our conscientiousness, our mindfulness of him, subhanahu wa ta'ala, at-taqwa, at-taqwa. And the role model for taqwa Conscientiousness of Allah subhanahu, subhanahu wa ta'ala is our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So with that being the reality, what we would like to do uh, is present every Friday just a few words, a few minutes of, of your time to reflect on the life and legacy of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Of course, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is Habibullah, the beloved of Allah. And he has praised his messenger in his book. There are numerous ayat, but one in particular stands out. Innaka la'ala khuluqin azim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addressing the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Indeed, you are most definitely on top of a tremendous character. So, as believers, we should study the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because, as I've mentioned before, he embodies the purpose of creation. He's a picture of human perfection, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So what we're going to be doing, again, every Friday, and you can look for these videos on YouTube and also on Facebook, inshallah, is we're going to take an aspect of what is called al-ulum and nabawiyya the, the knowledges, and you can also say the sciences of the prophet, the prophet, excuse me. And uh, these can be divided into four main categories. Of course, there's more. There are many dimensions, but we're going to focus on four. The first is Dala'il and Nubuwa, the signs of prophethood. We affirm that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the messenger of Allah. Now, that's not an arbitrary belief, but something that is as factual as me sitting here in the masjid library speaking and recording this video, okay? It's not an arbitrary belief. It is a fact that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was who he claimed to be, which is the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And when we say that this is a fact, what that entails is that he didn't just make the claim, but he substantiated the claim in a way that leaves no room for doubt whatsoever. So we're going to take a look at that. What are the main dala'al and nubuwa that the scholars have mentioned that will give us certainty and increase our faith and our affirmation in the truthfulness of the message of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. After that, you have a broad category as well, the seerah, the life story of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam 
and it is overflowing, filled to the brim with all different types of benefits and lessons and things that we can consider for our own selves as it relates to our own personal lives as Muslims today. So we're going to look at the seerah, um, take some, some features of the seerah, both from the Meccan period and the Medinan period, and even from uh, the childhood of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So that's number two. So first, Dala'il and Nubuwa, and then the seerah, all right? Proofs of prophethood and the life of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. After that, the third uh, chapter, if you will, that we're going to look at um, in this blessed month of Ramadan is the Shama'il, the Shama'il, which we can loosely translate as the character traits of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as well as his personality, all right? So what was the Prophet's favorite food, for example, all right? What were the types of clothes that he would wear? How would he deal with children, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, all right? How did he used to talk? How did he used to walk? All of these details about the, the personal habits and the personal uh, character traits of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the shama'il, we're going to be looking at that after the seerah, to have a picture of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then, last but not least, what we're going to look at is what is called al-khasa'is, al which are the special, the special exclusive characteristics of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. For example, uh, when compared to other prophets and messengers, alayhim as one of the things that distinguishes the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is that his message is universal. He was sent to humanity as a whole, whereas prophets and messengers before him were sent to their respective peoples, all right? So the last category, al-khasa'is, the special, exclusive traits. So once again, dala'il and nubuwa that's number one. And then for the next Friday, uh, points from the seerah, and then number three, the shama'il of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and then last but not least, the khasa'is, the special exclusive traits of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And when we uh, come to these different topics, inshallah, each one will give us a different dimension to appreciate the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in all of his greatness and be an inspiration for us to imitate him, to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and move closer to him. As some of the scholars say, we are mirrors of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We are mirrors and we are supposed to reflect that prophetic light. But when there is some some fog, some steam, or some uh, some grime on a mirror, that light doesn't doesn't really penetrate, so the mirror cannot reflect properly. The mirror has to be polished in order to fulfill its purpose. So let's all uh, polish ourselves and take our status as mirrors of of the light of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam seriously, and to do that. Let's reflect upon his life and his legacy in this blessed month. And may Allah once again give us tawfiq and taysir. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our worship, accept our fasting. And we will see you next week. Barakallahu feekum and jazakum Allahu khairan for listening. Wassalamu alaikum.